So let's talk about how our trip went so far today. Um, we the, we started our day by uh, taking the Bernina Express from Chur uh, in Switzerland all the way to Tirano in here in Italy, and. I can say that it's a very good experience. A uh, bit of a challenge when you have two, two young kids, kids <laughs> going with you. But nonetheless, uh, it's just the views are really amazing. And yeah, the good thing is Renzo really loves trains. So he did have quite a good time. Sure. Train, and it's about to move. And the train goes straight here. Yeah. <laughs> Here, and then stops at the, and then this is where it finally stops. Ayla, maybe a little too young. A little too young. She, like, <laughs> she probably thinks it's just a normal dream. Yeah, but yeah, the the views are really amazing. Breathtaking. We, yeah. The, and the good thing is today was a really sunny, bright day. Mm -hmm. So our views were like unobstructed, unobstructed. Um, it it was bright, sunny. Everything was clear. Um, yeah, it was. It, it, the train was actually quite full mm -hmm. um, because I guess it's Easter break. So yeah, but uh, the 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 really good thing is we were fortunate enough that our particular set of seats were in the back of the carriage so that when we look to the front you get to see the entire view uh, on both sides yeah. even though sometimes you one side will have a better view than the other so yeah. that's the that's the advantage There's, that like, we advantages had. and disadvantages mm -hmm. one of the disadvantages i guess would be because you're this across the luggage uh, yeah. area <laughs> There would be kind of lots of luggage in there, so a bit of your view on the other side would be a, a little obstructed. A little <laughs> obstructed, um, but that does mean that we're, there's also no one there on yeah. the other side, so you, you can just stand, stand up, up uh, in case there's the view is better on one side compared <laughs> to the other. So uh, there's a there's a a good case for one or the other yeah. but either way i think uh, regardless of wh whichever area you sit on um the the experience was quite good so we just have a short pit stop at uh, this point in the bernina express it's really quite beautiful here the alps and the high There's still a bit of snow it's quite nice One thing to check though for you guys out there who have kids younger than six years old like ours, um, we thought that kids below six don't need tickets because when we looked at the website, it clearly stated no, that yeah. kids under six are free, go free. But I guess even if they go free, they, it might be that they needed a ticket. I'm yeah, sure. I think it's a, there's a special case for Bernina, so do, do check it out as well. Uh, Just double check with, with uh, I think you can send an email after you've reserved. Check the ride. It goes to several loops, I think I heard. And it can be disorienting sometimes because it, you go that way and then it goes that way. But look at the, look at the view. There's snow where we are. That means that we're quite very high up. High up, right, Renzo? You saw the snow. Yeah. There, oh, there's more snow here. That means that we're quite high. Whoa! And look, Renzo. Look, Renzo. The foam, yeah, that's right. We because want it's this, too high. Um, hand foam. And the foam doesn't work when we're in a high altitude. So that's how we know that we're quite high because the foam, the hand foam doesn't work. <laughs>